Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to build a YouTube clone using the Venom stack. Yeah, I like to call it the Venom stack but you will see people calling it Maven. So it simply means um, MongoDB, Express, Vue.js and Node.js. So we'll be building a YouTube clone. Now this is not just like all those other YouTube videos you usually watch and they were saying going to be the YouTube clone and you're going to see them using maybe one kind of scrappy team or just trying to recreate the old maybe basic stuff of YouTube but this tutorial I want to create everything like I want to try our possible best to recreate YouTube as we want to build YouTube from scratch like so the requirements for this um, course of this tutorial the upcoming tutorials are coming up um, you should be intermediate in JavaScript, Vue.js and as well Node.js you should have your skill should be at least up there before you can take this course though i will try my best to explain every step and every details of the tutorial okay so the way i'm going to create this video is we're going to start with the api first with express mongodb and node.js we're going to build the api first then we're going to build um the vue.js part later so we'll start the api now and build the um vue.js part later so before i demo the video to you I want to give a shout out to to Eric. So yeah, um, Eric actually created a video and he was talking about um, the portfolios or the projects you're supposed to put in your portfolios. You as a Vue.js developer, he actually mentioned my YouTube clone. Shout out to him. Like if you want to see more projects that you can add to your portfolio, go watch this video. And also, um, the MongoDB team actually contacted me directly and they they wanted me to demo my application my youtube application on the community showcase um they saw it i actually posted this the youtube clone on on, on twitter and they saw it and they reached out to me and they be like okay let's do uh, a community showcase and here's the video shout out to joe joe is a wonderful guy shout out to the mongodb team like they're actually supportive that the community is extremely supportive i uh, love mongodb okay so before i show you the demo of the app um in this course, like in this course, we're going to take this tutorial. I'm going to take the upcoming videos are going to come up. Um, we'll be demoing, as uh, it's not demo, sorry, we'll be like documenting our APIs. We're going to be using Postman to test our APIs. So I expect you guys to know how to use Postman. But if you don't know how to use Postman, I have a complex tutorial on it, a full docs tutorial on it, on how you can use um, Postman to document your APIs because we'll be documenting our API all the way. Okay, so now let's get into the ViewTube. Let's get into the ViewTube. Actually, call it ViewTube. So now this is it here. You can see how perfect it is. Like we're trying to recreate the old YouTube clone from scratch. So I'm creating everything. So let me refresh for you to see the animation. Now can we see that lovely animation, right? So we're going to build everything from scratch. Look at look at everything here. Can we see the demo of everything? If we go to trending. We have the trending video. This is like we are building exactly the way YouTube is. Somebody says it was a duplicate, but it's the same thing as clone. So we're trying to recreate everything from scratch. So if you want a detail, um, a detail walkthrough, a detail demo, a detail demo on it, I actually have a YouTube video. I demoed everything from scratch. Like it's it's a long video. I think it's about 30 minutes. I showed everything that we did. So I'm gonna leave a link to that video maybe up or somewhere. When you're watching, you're gonna see it. Okay, so let me just try and just show you a glimpse of video. You can go watch the complete video and um, to see how the demo and the ap application we're gonna build. So I go to sign in or let me just create an account so you can see. So you see the and these are the stuff we're gonna build, like this validation. So let me try to create an account. Um Craigan nine at gmail.com. See? And let's call it Pretty Boy, Pretty Boy Channel. Yep, Pretty Boy Channel. Isn't that awesome? And I give my password. Yeah, you know, it's sign up. Can we see this? Yeah, see the animation. Wonderful. So now let's see. Let's try to subscribe to a YouTube. Let's support somebody. Let's try to subscribe to this guy over here. So come to the video. Can we see the videos that are playing? Oh, sorry, I have to reset this. Sorry about that. Okay. Now let's play. I try to subscribe. Yep, subscribe, and I can like the video, can dislike the video, and I actually put a part where you can also download. These are the stuff we're going to do. Like, this is what we're going to do. So 
let me go back to my own channel let me show you my own channel like we just created so i'll go back to the home right yeah, if you click down here go to your channel and this is my channel i don't have any video <laughs> my video is empty and i have zero subscribers it's called pretty boy so let's go to um the studio show you the studio real quick and this is the studio is empty like pure empty so let's try to upload something let's try to upload something show you real quick but if you want the full demo like i said just go and watch that video like i'm going to show you the full demo of everything so let me click on this and just demo and i'll say just a demo right and just put description and let's make this public and we can choose science and technology let's upload a thumbnail real quick and this thumbnail right here press on it boom and we hit save yeah I'll close this up and we hit submit perfect can we see that then let me try to visit the um the video let me look at the video real quick and can we see this is our home video let's try to go and click back to the home page can we see this this is the video we just uploaded right and we just have only one views a few seconds ago right and we just subscribe to this so what is going to happen is just go watch that video if you want to see the complete one i don't want to demo it and make this video look so big so if you want to see the complete video of the complete demo of this app just go watch that video yeah so now we're going to get started with it but before we go into like creating like start the code and stuff like that i want to talk about the erd model now the erd model is entity relationship diagram that's what it stands for so as actually the back end like the database our structure i want to explain the structure for you so now we're going to have about seven models like about seven models about seven collections right we're using mongodb i cannot just say <laughs> Is it seven? Is it more than seven now? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, eight. <laughs> so we have eight collections here. Yeah, I'm gonna use the MongoDB team. Um, MongoDB team, rather. We have eight collections. I'm gonna use table. So we have the users, users, email, the details, the photo URL, like um, your profile picture, right? And we're gonna have histories. So histories is talking about like you know in um YouTube. We have history like we can check for let me look at this history here we don't have anything in our history right, okay we'll, we'll watch two videos yeah we have the watch history and have the search history so if you search yeah we're gonna put it in the search history so that is what this collection is for for different search you are doing on the database or the watch or the video we watched we're gonna put it in the history now this is the video part in the video part we're gonna have description category id view url um this the app like when i when i was building this stuff like when i was creating this stuff i actually use the file storage like i upload the video to the file storage which i wouldn't advise so for the upcoming videos coming up i'm going to use maybe a third party service like aws or cloudinary so that's what i'm going to use but the, this app here it uses um, um file storage which i don't um um uh, I don't think it's a good idea for you to do that. So uh, I'm going to use a third party solution like Cloudinary or AWS. Yeah. So for us to upload our video, I'm putting the URL here, the link to it. And we can see the views. And we also have feelings. Feelings now is for, <laughs> I couldn't come up with a better name. I just had to call it feelings. And feelings is for like when you like the video or when you dislike the video, a place you're going to store that. So this is it. We need the video ID, we need the user ID. And the type the type can be dislike or like so when we're building all this stuff i'll explain better i don't want to show the ERD model or what you're getting yourself into so the comments the comment also we have the text what you comment the user will actually comment and the video you're commenting on so we're having that on the comment section and um, but one thing i was trying to think about like um i, I separated the replies but uh mongodb mongodb enables you to do what they call the normalization so um we can actually put these replies at, as a um array in a particular comment but yeah i actually separated separated that uh my what's it called my relationship um uh, uh memory or <laughs> or the way i do things with sql kicking right here try to normalize everything but you can as well do that with the comment so that 
you can increase um performance so you don't have to actually go uh, don't worry let me talk about all the stuff here <laughs> when we when we get into the comment and reply we share the thought process of everything now the categories the categories are you know in youtube there are different categories um science and technology comedy education stuff like that so this is it then it's social model talk about the subscriber id the channel id the person who subscribes to a particular channel yeah so that's it guys um that's it that's it for the erd model but um we'll get started with the tutorials as from next week um this channel will be releasing content every tuesday so every tuesday look out for your timeline look out for your notification hit the bell notification so that you will get notified when i release a new video every week yeah because this app is gonna be dope like it's something that you can put in your portfolio and show your potential employee that you know your stuff okay so that's it guys um see you in the next one